What's up, Wayne Barron here from darkfakes.net, and we are inside of Internet Information Services, IIS, in Windows 2003. Now, what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to create a website. It's going to be a virtual website, and uh, you create virtual websites uh, so that you can uh, host multiple websites on a single IP address, and so uh, without... Um, any complications so these are considered to be virtual websites and so what we're going to do is that we're going to create a folder uh, inside of a drive then we're going to create the website then we're going to launch the website to make sure that everything works so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to go inside my computer G Drive INET Pub WW Root and inside of here we're going to create a folder uh, I'm losing my mind and once it loads, the uh, C T O N A R Y or dictionary. So this right here is going to be our folder. This is where we're going to uh, send our I S to. Is to this folder right here. So inside of I S, we right click on our default website. We go down to New Virtual Directory, and then we choose Next. And our alias is going to be D I C T click on next we're going to browse into our G Drive INET pub WW root and then down to dictionary click on next and we're going to be running ASP scripts so we're going to choose run scripts such as ASP click next click finished we've got a file right here that's response.write hello I am a dictionary we're going to save this file into our INAP pub WW root and dictionary and we're going to name this file we're going to choose get up counter we're going to choose all files and we're going to name this one uh, default.asp now whenever we open up a web page um, we're going to browse to the DICT uh, folder and what happened to my Google Chrome? Google Chrome's not wanting to load. Be right back. Okay, we're back. It seems that Chrome had crashed on me and I didn't know about it. This is running on my Windows 2003 server so I think it's uh, got a problem. So anyway, we are going to, like I said, we're going to navigate to our DICT. So let's go 192.168.2.7 slash DICT. Now with the file being named default.asp, it should automatically pick up on it and show our writing. And there you go. Hello, I am a dictionary. So that is how you create a folder inside of your web directory and then go inside and create a virtual website within IIS. And this can be done in any version of IIS all the way up to the newest 175 and whatever they've got after. I don't know if there's an IIS 8 out there. Is there? Y'all answered the question. All right, this is Wayne Barron, darkfix.net. Y'all have a rockin' weekend. Bye-bye.